painting the fates of the triptych. First I did the base coat for the background and it is like a dark, dark purple. Then I took these gray pages, cut them the same size as the canvas and taped them together so I could do my finished drawing. The drawing I came up with is a cartooner style and the youngest sister spins the thread and she, as you see, is passing it along to the middle aged sister who measures the length of your life and then the third sister is the one who cuts it at the end. Next, I took tracing paper and I traced the drawing and then I cut out each of the sisters' silhouette. This way I could just use this as a template to put on the canvases and paint the background shading around them because I'm just doing a gradient. I didn't want anything too prominent in the background, so you just use masking tape to stick them onto the canvases and then paint over the tracing paper. I didn't have a lot of time when I was doing this, I had a deadline, so I only took video of individual steps. I didn't take video like a speed paint, I didn't have time to set all that up and compress the files, but this I did manage some footage. So you can see how I'm blending out the lighter color from the center into the darker purple around the outside. And I forgot to mention, I did use masking tape after the first coat around the outside of each of the canvases so that I wouldn't be getting paint on the edges and the finished painting has just the background color solid around the edges of the canvas. So here's the finished background painting. You can see just the edges of the silhouette and they contrast just a little so I can see where they are without actually drawing lines. But here now we're going to take chalk along the back of the tracing of the youngest sister, place her and trace her with a pencil that doesn't have the leg sticking out, it's just a mechanical pencil, just a little pressure. After that, you want to keep the chalk in place so it doesn't brush away. Just take some of the skin tone and the hair color. I had everything pre-mixed as well. Um, you just paint over where the chalk was so that you don't lose the line and just here I'm doing a base coat of the skin tone. It's going to take a couple coats because the background is so dark. So here are her arms and her face. And then I've painted a coat of her hair. I did three coats on her hair in this painting. And her hair is actually kind of a peach. When you look at it, when it's in the painting, these colors look a lot more like she's, she looks blonde and this one looks like she has gray hair in the painting. But when you actually have the mixed color, her hair is purple. And the other girl, her hair is peach. But since the light cast in this painting is a kind of a purpler light source, I tinted their hair colors according to that. So here I've painted their dresses and the middle sister's skin and hair. They all have at least one coat and the center sister, her dress is complete. Actually, I believe all their dresses are complete at this point. I have a center light source, so all of the highlights are going to be coming from the thread and kind of the center of the painting as well. And to do the middle sister's dress, I just did hash patterned strokes as well as what I did in the background. And then the girls on the sides, I just did single directional diagonal strokes with the brush. 
So now I'm moving on to um, shading the skin and the hair. So here you see one arm is highlighted and I just use a very light yellow to highlight the arm. It's only two tones. I only use the main skin color and a highlight. There are only two colors in any of the flesh in this painting. So here I've gotten some detail on the face and the scissors. Now both of the arms are highlighted. I thought it looked kind of funny to put them next to each other to compare. They are fairly symmetrical. I took the same tracing and flipped it when I did the drawing. So they are the same drawing in reverse. I wanted to have very symmetrical composition. So I'm doing some scumbling in order to highlight the center of her body. So she's going to have the string dangling in front of her. I've also scumbled the highlight on her face and since the light is from underneath it's mostly under her cheekbones and under her chin. So the youngest sister's thread is now golden and it is the same yellow I used to highlight. And the middle sister, I have begun highlighting the hair. This looks really crazy at first, but it works. I do the base coats on the hair until it is a solid. And then I've highlighted this one's hair, but I want to talk about the center sister's hair. When you do the highlights on the hair and then do a, a thinner layer of a dark color on top, it gives it texture in the stroke. I'm talking about this at the wrong time, but now I'm doing the thread. I'm using a piece of paper to keep it straight as a guide. And then after I removed the paper, I went in and gave it kind of a glow. I just did a little scumbling like dry brush so that just around the thread would look like it's a little blurry glowing. So see how when you put the dark color over the highlight in the hair, it makes it look like you can see clumps of the strands. And if it's not enough for you, you just add more. But I liked it at this level. And I tried to make most of the light source come from below on the curls. So here you can see I have transferred the facial features. <laughs> to do the length of the life string, I did a tracing of the one I had drawn and cut around the underneath. And then I just used this tracing paper and painted along the bottom edge to get a nice smooth transfer. And I've done some work on her face. She looks a little mischievous. And here's the finished painting. I know I didn't go into too much. The youngest sister hair, I think, turned out like cotton candy. And the thread, you can see the spool, the, the ball of it. I did use gold paint to emphasize the string on top of the yellow. and I gave them all white eyes. This part of the footage looks cooler and I have the rest of the footage looked warmer. This is more true to the color. This was outside when I filmed this. So this is a natural lighting. You can see the true colors of the painting. It is quite Dungeness feeling. Whereas indoors I have very yellow light so it looked warmer. It was difficult to do an older looking character in the cartoon style without making her look too decrepit. It was hard to find a balance in the arms, especially. So this painting of the Three Fates is hanging in Artworks, which has a monster show through the length of October. It is a frame shop in Kenosha, Wisconsin. and. In a moment, you will see footage of it hanging in the gallery. I hope you enjoyed watching my step progression video of this painting, and I'll see you next time. Bye!